Hello. This presentation is designed to take you through the school uniform policy of St Rock's Secondary School. At St Rock's, we wear school uniform to show that we belong to the school community and to promote equity between all of our young people. The uniform has been designed to be as affordable and easy to find and buy as possible for our families. In St Rock's, all of our young people wear a white shirt, either long-sleeved or short-sleeved, along with a black skirt or a pair of black trousers. In addition, all of our young people wear a blazer and a tie. The blazer can either be plain black and is available from a range of retailers, including supermarkets, or a school blazer. The school blazer is available from Academy Uniforms. The contact details for Academy Uniforms are shown on the screen. The ties are available from the school office. Our young people in S1, 2, 3 and 4 wear the junior tie, which costs £6, and our senior pupils in S5 and 6 wear the senior tie, which is £8 and also available from the school office. In addition, all of our young people wear completely black shoes. These can be either trainers or shoes, but it is important that they are entirely black, with no white or coloured logos or short soles or other markings on them. In addition, our young people can wear a black jumper or cardigan. Again, this needs to be entirely black, with no brand logos visible and no images or colours on them. Many of our young people wear a headscarf for religious reasons. When wearing a headscarf or a hijab, these should be in either maroon or black to match the school colours. It is important that when wearing jewellery that this is kept to a minimum. This is for safety reasons. It is important to avoid long dangly bracelets, necklaces or earrings or any other jewellery for subjects such as science, technical and PE. Some of our older young people wear some makeup. But again, it is important that this is kept to a minimum in school. For PE, our young people wear black bottoms, so either tracksuit, leggings or shorts, along with a plain black or white t-shirt. Again, it is important that PE kit tops and bottoms should be plain and free from visible logos or images. Our young people may choose to bring in a pair of trainers to wear in PE. These can be of any colour, but it is important that if they are not plain black, that they are bought in in the bag and worn just in PE. PE trainers should be suitable for a range of sports and may get wet or dirty or muddy. Trainers, again, which are not completely black, must just be carried and worn for PE only and not in school for the rest of the school day. All pupils are provided with a PE kit hoodie for free. Additional or replacement hoodies can be bought from the school office for £15. Hoodies are part of the PE kit and not part of the main school uniform and therefore they should be worn only for PE activities and carried in the school bag for the rest of the time. Many of our families are eligible for a uniform grant to help with the cost of paying for school uniform. To see if you are eligible, go to the Glasgow City Council website to the Grants and Allowances page in the Schools and Learning section. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen to this presentation. If you have any questions about the school uniform or any other question at all about the school, the names of the key people for each year group are shown on the screen. These are the people that you should ask for if you contact the school. If you are unsure about school uniform, please do contact the school to check before you purchase any items. Thank you very much.